so in 2010, before I had heard of the term data science, um, you coined a term that I first learned from Jeroen Janssens, who's right here in the audience. So he was in episode number 531 of the Super Data Science Podcast. And he pointed out to me in that episode this awesome data science process that you coined with Chris Wiggins in 2010 before I or probably most of the people in the audience here had heard of data science. So what is the awesome O-S-E-M-N data science process? And you know, maybe let's just start with that. And then I've got a follow-up question for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, this is, I mean, as you've already said, it's an abuse of language because... Um, <laughs> I like the word awesome a little bit too much. But um, <laughs> so obtain, scrub, um, explore. Ex explain. Mo explain, <laughs> model, interpret. Oh, it's explore? Uh, it's explore. It explore. You're really fact check. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wrote it down. Um, and what this was, was, uh, you know, it actually wasn't that long ago. And I'm sure this seems completely obvious to everybody in this room that you get some data you clean it up, uh, you look at it, you interpret it, model it, and then you visualize it or, or communicate it in some way. Like, that's what it was. But in 2010, that was not obvious. Right. And we wrote it down because <laughs> we, or at least, you know, I kept finding myself in a room where, and this is one of the things I love about the data community, people come from all kinds of different backgrounds to data, like some folks come from biostats and some folks like me come from computer science and some people come from physics. And, you know, we probably have some economists in the room and I don't even know where everybody else comes from, but it's probably <laughs> incredibly awesome. And we end up, uh, you know, trying to solve a problem together, doing the same thing, but using different language or different processes and procedures. And this just kept happening. Um, and so finally, we wrote it down and said, we're going to say, this is the, the process. This is what you do when you are data sciencing. Um, and it is really funny to talk about it here today, <laughs> because now you look at it and you think, oh, this is so obvious. Like, of course. But it wasn't obvious in 2010. Yeah, it's, it's super cool how things like that, writing that down 12 years ago, how that has been absorbed by the data science community. Um, and it's helped to provide a backbone for people to understand what they might be doing on a regular basis. Um, and, and then it makes it into things like Jeroen's book, Data Science at the Command Line. And yeah, it's just, it's such a wonderful um, open community that I love being a part of. So, uh, so we know now the five stages of the awesome process, obtain, scrub, explore, model, and interpret. That's an N. <laughs> the whole thing For, is an abuse. Uh, um, <laughs> and so 12 years later, is there a particular stage of those five stages that data scientists struggle with the most still today? I'm going to say that that last one um, ended up being a stand-in for a lot of things. Mm. And that... Um, data science work is sometimes work, you know, to make so that you understand something. Sometimes it's work to communicate to somebody else so they understand something, they make better decisions. Sometimes we're building systems that go into production for machines to make decisions or to automate processes. And we just sort of elide at all of that, like the what happens next part. Right. And I think that's become one of the harder things. Um, is doing the first four steps without or with all of those different contexts in mind. Um, Great. So I'm going to say that. 